in this video I just want to show you guys a couple of mods that you can do to your RAM in order to make it look better but also help it cool down at the same time. <laughs> So here I have a plain RAM slot that you can buy without any covers. Now you can buy your own covers yourself and you can also buy covers that look like this where they're aluminium and it has an LED strip. There are many different types out there so it's just a matter of what you want, what type of LEDs you want and uh, what type of shape you want. As for decorating your RAM, you can buy all sorts of different colors out there in order to suit your color scheme. In my case, I just went with black and white because the RAM that I had originally was already black and white. So what I did was I just bought another four pairs because I have four RAM sticks. They come just like this. And as you can see, that's pretty plain and boring. And I decided to buy some RAM covers and just cover up my RAM so it looks a lot nicer. Rather than having it look so plain and boring, I bought these ones. There are holes and slots at the top here that go together like so and then it closes up and it forms your RAM cover there you go just like that however you do need some heat sink in order to help it cool down as well so what we're going to do now is install the heat sink and then I want to show you guys how you install the John's bow and then we'll get into what this is and uh, what it does here I have some adhesive heat sink and all I'm going to do is cut some strips at this length make sure you do not go past the total length of your RAM cover because you don't want it to show because my heatsink is so thin I'm going to go with two layers just to help it have a little bit more cooling as well as give it a bit of thickness so I'm just going to paste it on and cut it off I'm just going to measure it roughly and then we'll cut it off now we'll peel off this one here And now we will stick this one on it to double the layer. You can buy a heat sink that is a lot thicker, that way you only need one strip. But in my case, it wasn't thick enough, so that's why I have to do what I'm doing now and give it uh, two layers. Two on that side and then two on this side as well. I just put the heat sink right in the center because uh, the center is your best bet anyway. If you put it in the center, it's pretty much just going to cover this portion here. So we want it in about the center. And now we'll peel this off and stick it over the top of it okay stick it directly over the top there we go simply peel off this side and we'll uh, put the ram together okay, so it doesn't really matter which side you put it on but you want to make sure that all your ram is matching that's how the ram sits on these ones so i'm going to do that the exact same way you just want to get it as flush as possible this is the front so it will sit like this so we'll get it as center as possible and as flush to the top as possible just get it equal on both sides okay so that's about right there perfect right to the top just grab this side we'll peel off our heat sink simply clip it on so as you can see from here you have these you have a tab there right there okay and then you've got like an opening here and a tab on this side as you can see right there so this slides in that slot and this one will slide in that side and then you simply close it make sure when you close it that it it is seated there you go your ram installed beautiful and there you have it now for the john's bow ram cover they come with all the necessary items in order to put it together it already comes with your own heat sink they come with two one for each side it also comes with spare ram slots and say you have a set of four but you've only got two 16 gigabyte RAM sticks and then you have another two extra slots left which are just going to be empty. What John's Bow do is they give you an extra plain RAM stick. So that it's not RAM at all, it's just a stick that will sit inside your RAM slot so that you can also install your LED light over the top of it and it will allow you to get that four RAM stick look. And as you can see here, that's how I have done it. 
install your heat sink on both sides first okay so there's a heat sink on this side as well as you can see right there you can barely see it but there's heat sink between the ram stick and the cover right there between the, the the stick and the cover your ram sticks going to sit flush with this LED bar right here and then you match up your screw holes and you can't go wrong and you just screw it down and it clamps it down it's one screw in and this is the other screw in just tighten it a little bit not too much you don't want to end up breaking anything so you just tighten it just enough so that it's nice and snug when you're installing your RAM, you want to make sure that it's all facing the right way. So when you install it, it will all sit the right way. Now you guys get the idea of what you can buy for your plain RAM stick in order to modify it and help it look better and just help the overall appearance of your motherboard look nicer and your PC case in general. These are just a couple of the RAM covers that I've got. There are a bunch of different types of RAM covers out there, non-LED ones and LED ones. Just search around eBay or any place that you like to shop. Have a browse around and look for something that suits your needs. And as for this little uh, RAM cooler here, it's basically just two fans that are placed together and they basically sit on your RAM clip. This here sits on top of those clips, thereby giving you a little bit of air room so that it can suck out all the hot air that your RAM may produce from the motherboard. It sucks it out and then your PC cases fan will suck out that hot air thereby cooling your PC case. It's just another little fan that you can buy in order to help cool down your RAM. There are many different types of these out there as well. They're called RAM coolers. You can buy water cooled ones. This is just an air cooled one that I found and um, it was cheap so I thought I'd give it a go. I have to say that it does look really cool. It just adds another fan to your PC case and at the same time it also helps to cover your plain RAM sticks if you have plain RAM sticks and you don't have any RAM covers for it. You can either option to get RAM covers or you can even just get something like this that will help cover the RAM sticks and just also act as a cooler at the same time. These are just some of the things that I have gotten for my PC cases and um, I really wanted to share this with you guys just to let you know that there are a lot of things out there that you can buy for your RAM covers in order to help lift the appearance and overall look of your motherboard and your PC case. So if you found this video helpful guys, don't forget hit that like button and as always like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. In my next video I'll do some more PC mods so stay tuned and um, I hope you enjoy. Until next time guys, stay safe. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Alright, so now we'll uh, bring it over to the PC board and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like installed on the motherboard.